Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shorapsa's Flasus and today we are looking at the ISI MSQE 2023 PA paper question number 12. The above economy is characterized by a representative household which takes the aggregate price level and nominal wage rate as given and decides on its consumption and labor supply by maximizing utility subject to its budget constraint. The household has a total endowment of L bar units of labor time which it supplies for LS units to the market and enjoys the rest as leisure. Its utility depends upon consumption C and leisure L bar minus LS in the following manner, where beta lies between 0 and 1. The only source of income for the household is the wage income and it spends its entire income in buying consumption good at a price P. Then in this economy, the supply of labor as a function of real wage is given by what okay so total time l bar this is your total time ls is given for labor and l bar minus ls is given for leisure okay if you take a note at the last line, here we have an important hint. The only source of income of the household is the wage income. And it spends its entire wage income in buying the consumption goods at price P. Okay. So what is the total wage income of the individual? The nominal wage in the market is W. He gives LS units of labor. So total wage income is this. So this is his total wage income. What is his total expenditure? He consumes C units of consumption at the market price P. Okay. That means his budget constraint is the P times C should be equals to w times ls or c can be written as w by p times ls the utility function as you can see is given by c to the power beta plus l bar minus ls to the power beta so in the place of c i can replace it as w by p times ls whole to the power beta plus l bar minus ls to the power beta so the optimal labor supply is determined by maximizing utility so you will do del u by del s then set it equals to 0 so that will be w by p to the power beta beta ls to the power beta minus 1 minus of beta l bar minus ls to the power beta minus 1 is equals to 0 so that would mean w by p to the power so the beta ls to the power beta minus 1 is equals to l bar minus ls to the power beta minus 1 okay so that implies w by p to the power beta is equals to l bar minus ls divided by ls to the power beta minus 1 so this is basically l bar by ls minus 1 to the power beta minus 1 so this is w by p to the power beta by beta minus 1 is equals to l bar minus ls minus 1 so l bar minus ls is basically w by p to the power beta by beta minus 1 plus 1 so your labor supply would become l bar divided by w by p to the power beta by beta minus 1 plus 1 and if you look at the options that is option number b in your expressions so that's your answer to question number 12 thank you